Hi guys, welcome back. I am GC and this is GC's acting lesson. Um, okay, I'm presuming that you've already watched the first video and that you've made a list of reasons why you want to train as an actor. Okay, please from now on I want you to keep that list with you for each lesson that you do with me. Okay, it's really important. And um, reason being, if you do find yourself at any point thinking what's the point? Why am I doing this? It's taking, it's taking long. It's a, it's a lot of work. Refer back to all the reasons you want to do it. Okay? What you're working towards. Secondly, before I start on step two, um, I'd just like to say, please, if you haven't already, join a drama group or a drama club, or if you're already at drama school or you're trained as an actor, great, okay? It's really important that you have something to put all these techniques and lessons into practice with. Or even get yourself a drama coach, spend a couple of hours personally one on one with that person um, so they can direct you in a better way. Step two, inhibitions. Okay, the technical description of inhibitions is something that restrains, blocks, or suppresses, okay? Now in order for us to get over our inhibitions and our barriers, it's really important that you guys understand where our inhibitions come from, okay? Now let's go back to primary school. In primary school, I mean I work with primary kids all the time. Now when I do something silly when I'm working with them in rehearsals, um, they all crack up laughing and they absolutely they crease themselves okay now they're not laughing at me okay they're laughing with me because to primary school children they don't see adults being silly they don't see adults um, without inhibitions okay they love the fact that someone older can be free just like them now where our inhibitions come from is when we go to secondary school, okay, high school, whatever it is you call it. When we start in secondary school, we see hundreds of people who are older than us, okay, our peers, and we see them not being silly. We see them being scared that their friends are going to take the mic out of them for doing silly stuff, okay. They don't want to look stupid. So that is when it gets embedded into us that we should have inhibitions. We should have things that stop us being silly so that people don't laugh at us. Okay? Not with us, at us. And that is where our inhibitions start. Now, through years and years of having these inhibitions, we go then go through adolescence, we go through um, our adulthood and become so full of inhibitions that we can't see past it. Okay, we lose that whole freedom that we have as children. Now what I need you guys to do is to get that freedom back. It's really important that we take down our inhibitions in order to develop our techniques and char characterization. Okay, so our freedom has been buried deep within us from all the inhibitions that we have built up over the years in high school, in adulthood, okay? Let's set ourselves free. Let's get rid of all these inhibitions and barriers. Now from this moment on, I'm just going to call them barriers, okay? Everything that stands in our way within ourselves is a barrier. Now, in drama schools, well, in some drama schools, the way some drama schools get rid of your inhibitions is to stand you up in front of the whole class and get you to strip naked. Now I'm not suggesting you guys take all your clothes off and run down the street, okay? That's not what I'm suggesting. But it's really important that we do some extreme stuff in order to kickstart pulling away these barriers, okay? Also in drama school, you, you normally get rid of your inhibitions by doing group activities, working as animals and finding out how each other interact as animals. Um, by not being a person, 
it's a lot easier to get rid of your inhibitions, okay? Because you're forced to look different, you're forced to act differently, and you're forced to take on different physicalities that you might not usually be used to. Okay, so how do we get rid of these barriers? Like I said, in some drama schools, they ask you to strip naked in front of the class, okay? That is quite extreme for some people, okay? So, let's start with a mirror, okay? Get yourself in front of a mirror and start by pulling funny faces. Get used to how you look differently. Get used to using your facial muscles, okay? There isn't anyone there to laugh at you, I'm presuming, because you're probably in front of a mirror on your own. If you can, do this as a group. Get some other actors together with you um, and share this experience. That might help you. Okay, now, do these exercises for about 15 minutes per day. Okay, get used to seeing yourself differently. Feel comfortable in looking different. Now, once you've done this, your barriers will start to drop. Okay, you can even add in some sounds. <laughs> okay, be different. Different body shapes. How do some people walk? Like, oh, I've got a bad back. Oh no. Uh. Okay, get used to experimenting with all these things for only 15 minutes per day. Now what this will do is give you a starting position to get some of your freedom back in order to experiment with your techniques and the acting abilities that you will get. Okay, so you're used to being different on command. How about trying this in public? Okay, now go out, spend a day as someone else. Okay, now I'm not going to be too extreme, but if you normally only wear dresses, spend the day as a goth, okay? Full makeup, chains, whatever, okay? Be aware of your surroundings, be aware of how people are reacting to you as this other person, and vice versa. If you're a goth, try spending your day in a dress with a handbag, high heels, whatever, okay? Think about the, f the extreme that someone else would go to. Think about how you feel about them and how people will react to you in the duration of the day. Okay, so these are a really good way to start breaking down these barriers. Now these are really good for actors of all levels, beginners right up to trained actors who are looking to get back that sense of freedom that they might have lost. Okay? If it helps, get naked in front of the mirror while you're doing your funny faces. Let's get comfortable in our own skin. Otherwise, we cannot become comfortable in someone else's skin, being the character, okay? Because it's really important to stop caring about what other people think of you, okay? It doesn't matter. Let's be free. Let's be a bit silly sometimes. Let's dress up. Um, let's take on these other personas, okay? Let's not worry about how other people perceive us. Next exercise. Say this out loud. Okay, you've said it. Brilliant. Okay, you said that as yourself. I've got a balloon up my nose. Now try saying it as if you are somebody else. Somebody crazy. I've got a balloon up my nose! <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. As loud as you can. One, two, three, go. I got a balloon up my nose! Okay, so you're thinking, oh my god, I feel absolutely ridiculous doing this. But how invigorating does it feel to be free? Feel that freedom that you had when you were doing that. This is the freedom that we need to get back all the time, not just for a couple of minutes. We need to get rid of these barriers right out in order to be able to develop our characters and the people that we want to be. Okay, so removing all these barriers is essential 
in order for us to get the most out of our techniques and acting abilities. Okay, don't forget guys, do subscribe. Okay, leave comments for other viewers. And um, if you subscribe, I can let you know when the next video is out. That was step two, inhibitions. Thank you and tune in for the next step.